What is up guys? Hey, today we've got a steel four mix on the bench and I've been waiting patiently for one of these to come in with this issue. When you go to pull the rope, it is so tight and so much compression that you physically cannot pull the engine over. Now these steel four mixes have a mechanical compression release just like any other engine out there. But as we can tell, the flyweight spring is broken and the back cover of this camshaft has come off and is no longer attached to the camshaft. This piece is supposed to be made on to the cam. And as we can tell, the little bump that opens the valve right before the compression stroke is still there, but it, the camshaft can't work because the spring that operates it usually fails, overheats, and then the spring just disintegrates. So what does little Johnny do down at your local lawnmower repair shop? Well, he tightens those valves down to where there is just absolutely zero lash trying to get this camshaft to work correctly. And it's, it's just not a good scenario. When you run those valves down that tight, it melts the flipping camshaft. But let me show you that absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, the root cause of all this mayhem. Apologize for all the rain. It is raining like crazy today. But anyway, here is the axle that the camshaft rides on and how that doesn't wear out. It's got somewhere, this machine is fairly old. It's got a lot of hours on it but you shouldn't have any play in right here. But this is not the issue. Where this camshaft lives inside the motor, you have a back cover on the back of the engine. This cover wallows out from use and heat. This boss is okay where the cam rides. However, where the two rocker arms mount, and let me show you, that boss gets wallowed out. This much play where these cam followers ride See how that's wallowed out in this the pin bore on the back cover here that much play when you have your uh, push rods of course your push rods are going to go into the sockets here and then of course your your valves or your rocker arms are going to be above that and with this slop you're not going to get a proper valve lash adjustment you can adjust it you sure can but it's not going to stay as soon as you crank that motor it's going to be all out of whack again no bueno same issue with the cam pin bore on the back cover. Okay, we've already covered that. We, we already see that the it's wallowed out on this on the the rocker arm side, but on the cam side on the back plate, it fits nice and tight with no issue. But if we go to the engine side of this cam axle bore, we can see. that 
this just completely wallowed out and that will allow the camshaft to just be moving around in there. Now we take the pin and put it in the rocker arm shaft bore and we're good and tight. I had a question a while ago on my YouTube short uh, video. Hey, what can you do to fix this? Honestly, in my honest opinion, you're just gonna have to replace the engine block. You can take this engine to a machine shop and have them mill this out. And they'll have to do some, some you know, some micrometer work or whatever. And they can install you an oil line bushing. But by the time, my goodness, by the time you do that, you could have already just short blocked this thing. Or nine times out of 10, the customer is not gonna have it fixed because it just costs too much. I'm not a super huge fan of the four cycle, four mix engines, but when they are running right, man, they are some powerhouses, torque monsters, good running little engines when they're correct. Can't count how many of these I've done under warranty and have to put short blocks on these. But anyway, guys, I hope this information helped you out, especially you, uh, heavy-duty landscapers that run these uh, FS 90s and, and FS 130s and KM combi units with this engine on there. Uh, that way, you know, whenever you, next time you go to the shop uh, and they tell you that it's blah, 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 well, at least you know now that uh, they're hopefully not blowing smoke up your skirt. But anyway, uh, if this helped you out, please give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and click the bell so you get all my videos, new ones. Y'all take care. More Medic One. Bye.